Coming up on Press This, we celebrate 50 episodes. Yeah, that's right, Matt. And we fight both physical and virtual bugs in the form of security plugins for WordPress. Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Press This. I'm your host, Matt. And I'm Dan. Dan, it's always good to see you. This good is a show you. where we take some of the awesome stuff mm -hmm. in the WordPress world, mm -hmm. slap it together, mm -hmm. move it around the room, introduce you folks to some awesome WordPress mm -hmm. stuff, compare, contrast, test, sure, play with. Subscribe, YouTube, Slocum Studio, email list, blog, <laughs> Twitter. We're all over the place. Yep. Uh, we want to hit 10,000 fans on YouTube, so go ahead and hit subscribe if you enjoy this stuff. You can catch uh, all of our great videos every week mm -hmm. or something like that. Absolutely. What are we going to talk about today? So you've been learning with us. Um, this is, I guess, episode 50, uh, according oh, to the yeah, notes at least, right. of, hey. of, of Press. Congratulations, pretty, pretty Dan. Right it's good, it's good to have you around <laughs> yeah. for 50 episodes. 50 episodes. We should have done something like uh, pop maybe. some bubbly. Well, yeah, I'll, we'll get Garrett do something. Um, but... Uh, <laughs> um, Garrick's our video editor yes. for those that um, don't know. So so episode fifty, you've been learning a lot of a lot of WordPress with us. Well guess what? Other people have been learning WordPress too. In fact, they've been learning how to hack, manipulate, and otherwise destroy your, you know, internet property, you know? Mm -hmm. So what we're talking about today is actually security plugins. And going back through, I was surprised we hadn't covered this yet. Yeah. It's, um, and yeah. you know what's funny? I don't. Did we even recommend any security plugins on our on our recommended list? We we may have. Um, I know we recommended some other ones like down. I think maybe yeah. And we, we yes we did. And then we recommended like you know backup and stuff like that too. So we're going to talk about four security plugins today. Um, just kind of go through the list here. Some of them do more than others, so it'll, we'll we'll kind of we'll kind of go through those. Um, I guess the first thing we should talk about though is sort of what dictates a security mm. plugin. Sort of there are kind of two different kinds of, of security plugins mm. out there. Yeah. Um, there's preventative security and active security. Mm. Yeah. yeah. And and I think it's it's actually even more important. Mm -hmm. We should we should, any security thing mm -hmm. I guess should be prefaced by mm -hmm. saying that right. things aren't 100% secure. Right. I think we already know this since the NSA and all that fun stuff. Right. Um, but uh, so don't take this as the end all be all of all security things. There right. are things in here that we don't even list like complex passwords, right. having a backup like you just said, um, yes. two factor uh, authentication to log into your site is but, also big. But we actually will get into that with, okay. with one of the plugins okay. um, specifically. Um, what, one thing I wanted to say is I think a lot of people go out there like you buy a you buy a Windows computer and you go and you buy Norton or McAfee or something like that, right? Mm. And it's, yeah, well, this is supposed to fix that virus I had. No, it's not. It's just a preventative software. This is going to stop. It's like a wall. If something's already in that wall, you're not doing anything about it. Right. So I think that's also important to note here. Right. So let's dive into the let's first uh, first plugin that you have. Bit51 sure. from Better, w or Better WP Security from Bit51. Yep. This is a preventative mm -hmm. uh, plugin. Mm -hmm. Over a million downloads, yeah. 4.8 out of 5 yeah. stars. Gets the most 5-star reviews. Um, out of all of these, right? Yep, it has a lot of them. I forgot how many exactly. You can look, pull it up, I suppose, on the uh, uh, right up there. But basically, um, this one was my favorite. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna say it right, right, right here. Um, all these plugins are free, by the way. Some of them have like paid, paid things. Like this one has the most paid other stuff. Mm -hmm. And what was cool about this one was they they did two things really, really well. Um, one thing they do do is they do have a lot of that sort of that nonsense that, you know, if you're somebody like myself and you walk in, you're like, what does this mean? Like, what is this code? What's this? And why should I care about this? Right. It has that in there, but it's kind of hidden. You don't have to. It's not just sitting there in front of your face. They also do offer $80 for an install and then $40 for a ticket um, through Foo Plugins. I guess they use a third party for it, which is kind of weird there. Mm -hmm. um, uh, Foo Plugins is a marketplace. Oh, OK. Yep. <clears throat> to, do, to do that. OK, I gotcha. Um, so, but the one thing I really did like about it, and to your point about sort of, you know, well, you know, we're not talking about, you know, like passwords. Actually, Better WP mm -hmm. Security does go over that. Mm -hmm. So one thing it does that's really, really cool is when you first install the plugin, they basically ask you, and I guess I'll probably activate this so you can see it here um, on the screen uh, uh, if you want to take a look, Matt. Um, mm -hmm. But basically what they do is you activate the plugin and it you do a very, very easy install of it. Mm -hmm. And what it does here is it shows you everything that's up with your website, but from a very, very user-oriented level. Mm -hmm. Like saying, 
you know, not everybody's password for an administrator is very good. Mm. Or, um, you know, you should really check this out because, and, and it's kind of more basic stuff, which is really, really cool. It's color coded. And it's color coded. For, for folks like me. Right. That says green is good, red green is, is good, bad. Green is good, red is Orange, bad. Orange, eh, yeah. you might want to check, take a look at that. Right. So that's, that's really, really cool stuff there. Actually, let's do this. So it's almost like a, it's, it'll give you this little checklist mm -hmm. here. Yeah. Um, and then I can see that you can do a lot more other things yep. uh, within that screen. Something to probably also be uh, wary of, and I think we might have talked about this in the last episode, is check with uh, your web host right. because some of this stuff is like right. locking down mm -hmm. folders or changing server things yep. like HT access. Mm -hmm. Uh, not every web yep. host is going to be compatible with that. So I, I'm sure you'll know right off the bat when something doesn't work. And actually, uh, every plugin here, to all their credit, does tell you. Awesome. If there's like an HD access thing, for example, it will say, by the way, if you tweak this at all, something may go down, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and they always recommend backup before you do things, stuff like that too. Mm -hmm. So they're very good about that, all of them. But that was my favorite one. I guess we'll go down to another preventative uh, plugin now, which is Bulletproof WP. Okay, this is from AIT Pro Website Security. It's another preventative uh, plugin. This one has just over eight hundred thousand downloads, and another, again, a four point eight out of five rating. Mm -hmm. So this this one was this one was interesting too. Yeah, I don't wanna... yeah. I mean, uh, I one. So here's the thing with security stuff, right? I guess it's even more um, important that you're as a user installing a plugin that you're actually mm -hmm. looking at yep. the reviews mm -hmm. when the last time yep. they updated. Yep. Um, and all that stuff. Last updated at the time of this recording uh, was 8.1, so just over a month ago. Yeah. And uh, Better WP was last week or yep. thereabouts, yep. a couple weeks ago, 8.24. Yep. I'm not saying that's a bad thing, right? Um, <laughs> but it's just something to be yeah. to, to pay attention sure. to. That Make sure that, hey, if I'm going to install security stuff, sure, these guys better be updating this very regularly yes. for all these different security mm -hmm. things that come out. Mm-hmm. Um, we'll, get, we'll talk about that too a little bit. Okay, cool. <laughs> when we get to the last plugin, cool. but uh, with the Bulletproof WP, um, it's it's one of those ones like the magic members I always go back to because it was like the first one I, I ever saw, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But it's the interface within the interface. Yep. Where it doesn't look like a like a typical WordPress thing. It's like an interface within the back end of WordPress, mm -hmm. and it has a, you know all those images. And um, this one I found was probably going to be the most sort of high end. User one, I wouldn't recommend it if you are somebody who is new to this and just wants to get some tips, like password tips, things like that, or um, yeah, things like that. And the reason why I, I still recommend uh, Better WP over it is because um, it, it has everything, mm. where this is very much high end, high level. Mm. Um, they also sort of um, portion out different services too. Um, I don't know if there's anything else you wanted to say about Bulletproof before I move on. Uh, there really isn't, you know, too much more beyond that. Talks yep. a lot about the HD access and things like that. Yeah, I, I just see a ton of different options here. Mm -hmm. um, all very much. Again, it's great if you're the high-end user. So if you're the high-end user, you know all about the security stuff there um, from server level, stuff like that. Um, great. Go for it. They're all free again. Try it out. I think you'll enjoy it if you're a high-end yeah. user. Yeah. I don't necessarily want to pit any of these kind of yeah. against each mm -hmm. other because I think with security... Um, People are going to be doing things, doing these this practice of security different ways, mm -hmm. um, and we are by no means putting this thing through its paces. Right. You know. Right. Using the NSA's yeah, yeah. data center yeah, to yeah. try to hack yeah. into our WordPress yeah. sites, uh, we're just kind of bringing these up and saying, "Here's how we install them. Here's what right, it was like yeah. working with them, and kind of giving you our uh, our two cents on yeah, that." Yeah, we did not, in fact, hire anybody from the NSA in yeah. the making of this video. <laughs> <laughs> um, but um. One of the one of the services that Bulletproof WP actually links to, um, if you want to do scanning or if you want to do services like that, like once you've had, once you have something in, like the the walls up, but there's something already in there, right? Um, that takes us to security. Security. Did I pronounce that correctly? You did. Good. Um, it's the first time you ever asked me that. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> security. Security. Uh, this is an active plugin. So this is actually scans uh, for malware and you know other sort of malfeasances if you uh yep. on your on your uh your wordpress page this one gets one hundred and three thousand downloads 4.5 out of five stars um this one really is i want to make sure i want to see what's going on with my plugin once you have that stuff then you sort of start talking to sakuri and yeah do their yeah. servicing but uh so i i know a couple of the guys over there it's, it's it is a great uh company i haven't used their service mm -hmm. yet but i know of a lot of people who have right. 
And you're right. It's one of those things where all of a sudden your site's hacked and you and you just don't trust it. And now you're like, yeah. oh man, do I do I just rebuild or mm-hmm. can I or I can't rebuild because I really need to get this data out or whatever. Um, you sign up for their service and they do more than just WordPress. That's sure. also important. So they'll do Joomla, Drupal, sure. um, PHP, Bulletin Board, all that stuff, <laughs> basic HTML. Um, and then you scan your site. It's fairly inexpensive. Yeah. Um, and I think for like 90 bucks, you get your site yep. scanned and it's actually, they actually either fix it for you mm-hmm. um, or tell you how to fix it if it's depending on how complex it is. Sure. So, I mean, dollar wise, it's very inexpensive yep. when, especially if you have an e-commerce site or a site that you just don't want hacked, right. <laughs> I mean, right. which is who wants a hack site, right? right. <laughs> um, and third party, sur- third party service. So it goes in and it scans it and it uses that plugin probably to scan right. it. Um, but they actually offer up a free scanner. I probably check some of the basics. Uh, if you go to their site, you can just right. type in your URL and, and put it in. Right. So the plugin in by itself will just kind of, it's free again. It will just scan and detect if he sees anything. I ran right. a scan just to, just out of curiosity, of course, because this is just like a website we use mainly for just testing purposes and stuff. It didn't see anything. Nobody really cares to hack it. So, <laughs> right. Um, but if it's your website, it might tell you, and then you have to get with security and say, listen, I have this bug. I have this malware on my, uh, on my account and I need you to fix it for me. Yep. Amazing. Uh, and the last one I want to talk about um, to go with little, get a little mean. Uh-oh. Um, Uh-oh. And to, uh, to kind of bring it all to bring it all back and bring it together is secure WordPress, um, which I was shocked because it's WordPress in the title. I thought that was like a no-no, but. It, That's it, a great question. Um, <clears throat> because it just says secure WordPress for the plugin. Mm-hmm. Um, this one was sort of, the reason I brought it up was because it had a lot of downloads. So mm-hmm. people are using this plugin clearly. Mm-hmm. Um, it has the lowest score to four out of five, but it has 852,000 downloads. So it has the second most downloads of any plugin we talked about today. Um, but there are a few things about it. Uh, it. If you're looking, if you've seen it and you were waiting to download it until we kind of gave you the word or you're looking at them uh, and you've seen this in your travels, I'm going to go ahead and say pass on this one. It has the oldest updates because we just talked about that. And that's what I wanted to bring up. So it hasn't been updated in months, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and when you install the plugin itself, it's literally just a checklist. It's like, you know, click this and we'll do this for you and click this and we'll do that for you. That's all it is. Mm-hmm. It's just in the settings and that's it. Yeah. Very, 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 very weak sort of. Yeah. It'd be interesting to go back. Cause if you look at, uh, and we probably have to go back into yes. one of our older episodes, yeah. um, or something like that, Maybe. but the end of May yeah. going into June, yeah. they had a, a really big spike yeah, of downloads. And I think that was when, um, one of the like, an exploit exploit came out for WordPress okay. and then everyone started talking about um, security plugins. Oh, okay. I have to go back in the archives and kind of figure out if that's when it was. When it was, yeah. Um, and it seemed like it's, it's, it's had really trailed down from there. Yeah. yeah it's really had um, some good traction since then, but it got a lot of downloads. Yeah. What was that on the first day? Yeah. So it's, it's getting thousands and thousands yeah. of downloads a day. So yeah. like in the first few days it had like 20, 30,000 downloads mm-hmm. um, and it's, you know, it's gone down since then, but it's still, much higher than its average before that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Interesting. But yeah. So I just wanted to bring that up because people are going to look at, it and I think there are better ones out there. Yeah. Um, so, and in fact, they are uh, better, P, uh, better <laughs> WP security, yeah. uh, security, uh, maybe using security if you have to clean up a site. Mm-hmm. Um, and then mm-hmm. of course, bulletproof security is also uh, another one. Um, and for the high end user, for the high end user, um, Check out uh, both of those plugins as a fly comes across yeah. the monitor. Um, check out both of those plugins and, you know, sure. test them out. I mean, if, sure. I think the interface for better WP security is much cleaner and nicer. Mm-hmm. Um, and maybe it's better for the person who's using it. Sure. Right? I, I, I agree with everything you just said, Matt. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> it's been a yeah, fantastic episode, Dan. Yes. Episode 50. Episode finally, five zero, yeah. Finally getting down and telling people how to secure their sites. There you go. It only took us a year yeah there you go (laughs) (laughs) all right everybody uh if you like what we're doing go ahead and hit subscribe on youtube give us some comments say that we're crazy say that we're not and i promise you we have a forum coming Mm -hmm. yeah (laughs) it's just not easy to get one up and running um that that we Mm -hmm. that we're really happy with so uh stay tuned for that we'd love to bring you into the forum have some discussions talk about stuff uh, because we get a ton of of emails and live chat messages and tweets you know, which plugin's better for this, or I'm trying to set yep. up that plugin that you guys recommended. We can't figure it out. Um, we'd love to help everybody. We just don't have the time, the time to, to do, do that. Yeah. Um, so we want to get it into a forum capacity and see how you like it. 
Uh, check out our WordPress themes. Minimize yeah. is an awesome blogging theme. Uh, 6,500 downloads so yeah. far on WordPress.org. We so go. we're kind of happy about that. Yeah. Got a new update coming out today, which will be great. Um, so slogumstudio.com slash subscribe. Thanks, everybody. Thanks a lot, guys.